Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Bible Study Thursday, Galatians 3, 7, and following. That's the subject of the day's Higher Things Video Short. Man, that Jack Russell can jump. Hey, if you love our videos, if you have been learning about your faith, uh, maybe you're um, not a youth, you're an adult, and you're just hanging with us, slamming with some Lutherans, learning about your Christian faith, or maybe you stumble up on our video by accident, you like it, go ahead and hit like and subscribe today. Uh, the, the don't like button works too, but go ahead also and um, go to support.higherthings.org and give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things. A youth organization about passing the faith to the next generation keeps higher things going. All right, last week we finished Galatians 3, 6. Time to look at Galatians 3, 7 and following. Know this then, that those of faith, uh, that, it, that it is those who are of faith who are sons of Abraham. Galatians 3, 7. So, Paul had a problem the problem in Galatia was that um, some Judaizers, some folks who had their eyes off of the gospel, came in and rattled the Galatians, taught them a different gospel than the one Paul preached, a gospel that was all about what ethnic group you were involved in, Jew or Gentile. Um, and this wasn't a biblical group, although they claimed the apostles um, as their, their sort of teachers. Uh, this was basically, God loves you by grace alone through faith. That's great. But what you need to do is a good snip snipped, circumcised. Ouch. Okay. Um, if you do that, well, then God will really love you. Um, now, there's this is sort of uh, happens in Christianity today when somebody adds something to the gospel. Jesus loves you by grace alone, received by faith alone. But if you really want to be a Christian, then you'll do X, Y, P, Q, L, M, I, I don't know my alphabet, evidently. Um, you'll speak in tongues, you'll give your life to Jesus, etc. Paul here blows that all away, saying, look, you want to be a child of Abraham? You want to be a Hebrew? You want to be a good Jew? It's know this, that those out of faith are the ones who are sons of Abraham. So you're not a son of Abraham because you're born a son of Abraham, despite the fact that, whoops, I dropped a tree. Goodbye, Thor. Um, you're not a son of Abraham because you're born into the son, uh, Abraham's family. You're not a son of Abraham because you're better than someone else. And you're not a son of Abraham because you've been snip-snapped. The, the true sons of Abraham are those who believe that God has sent his son into the world. Faith makes a child of Abraham, a son of Abraham. The scripture, says Paul, foreseeing the future that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, the nations, by faith, preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, in you shall all nations be blessed. So if God wasn't for Gentiles, if God was only for a certain crew, ethnicity, a uh, uh, good Jew, not a Gentile, if that's how God rolls, then why does he preach to Abraham, the father of the Hebrews, the father of the Jews, that you're going to be the father of, of many nations. You shall, And in you shall all nations, and nations is, is Gentiles. In you, all nations, all Gentiles shall be blessed. So then, those who are of the faith are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith. Verse 9. So again, nothing cinches your Christianity, other than Jesus Christ and Him crucified, faith in Jesus Christ. All the other things, which may be good things, are secondary to that. Um, and here, the Galatians, with a different gospel, put everything on who who's your daddy? Is Abraham your daddy? <laughs> oh, I can't believe I said that. Uh, or not. And Paul directs them away from Abraham to faith by pointing out what the scripture actually says about Abraham, the man of faith, that through him all nations 
are blessed. Which means in you, all nations, in your seed, in Jesus, God saves even sinners, people who don't deserve to be saved. He saves them in Jesus. And so what makes a child of God, what makes a son of Abraham, not a change in your life, not speaking in tongues, not not doing this or that, what makes a son of Abraham, what makes someone a child of God, what makes somebody a Hebrew, what, what identifies us with the people that God brought through Egypt and out of Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm is not what goes on with our body down under or whether we make a change to become a Jew. It's solely faith in Jesus Christ. And all you have to do to know this is true is remember Father Abraham, who in him all nations are blessed. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, short Bible study today, and this has been another Higher Things video short. <laughs>